So when I first started doing YouTube, I was very awkward and I was very shy. I didn't feel confident in speaking to a camera like I am today. But over the years and over the last four years since I've been creating social media content for YouTube and Instagram, my confidence has built up and I feel a lot more genuine and confident speaking to a camera like I am today. So I wanna show you an example of the very first video that I put out here on YouTube. The French Bulldog is a great breed for those that are living in a small condo or um, a small home. Um, they're relatively low on energy, so they don't need as much exercise as some of the other breeds out there. However, there are some exceptions. Uh, because they don't need so much exercise, you really have to key in on their diet and make sure that they're getting a high quality source of protein. Now, I think we could all agree that that video was pretty bad and I thought it was really bad and I still do to this day think that was really bad. I was very uncomfortable, I didn't speak clearly, I stuttered. That video actually took me about five days to record and that video went viral which pretty much was the foundation to this evolving channel and me doing content for social media. But this video isn't about that. I wanted to share some of the things that have worked for me over the last few years of building camera confidence and speaking to a camera. Now, regardless of what industry you're in, whether you are um, you know, in a professional industry or your lawyer or your doctor, or you have your own business or you're a content creator like I am, having the confidence to speak in front of a camera is such a good skill to have and it's such a good thing to have on your resume because there are so many people in today's day and age utilizing our cameras for communicating and if it's your first time speaking to a camera it could feel very awkward and ungenuine not natural because we as humans we don't communicate like this like look at me i'm sitting in my garage and by myself with my camera with a microphone and i'm just talking to the camera this is not how we communicate as humans and it's totally fine to feel uncomfortable doing it when you are starting out so one of the things that helped me in the beginning was getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. And what I mean by that is that I quickly learned and I accepted the fact that, you know, my first 10 videos are gonna be very awkward. It's gonna be very uncomfortable. But in the back of my head, I knew that this was gonna be a skill that is gonna require a lot of reps. And the more that I do it, the better I'm gonna get at it. So with that in mind, I just kept on going. I kept on pushing forward. I kept on creating videos and speaking to the camera. And then over time, I started noticing that, you know, this was actually getting a lot easier for me the other thing that really helped me with building my confidence in speaking to a camera was planning ahead my videos. And that meant picking a day of when I was gonna film my video or the location or having a structured script for my video. I've played with both having a detailed script and bullet point, but I find that when I do have a bullet point structure for my videos, it comes off a lot more organic, a lot more authentic and genuine of who I am versus if I have a script where it's, you know, word for word, then it doesn't feel like me. It just feels like I'm reading off of a script. So that's why for videos that I do now, I just have a very bullet point, simple structure for the videos. And it just makes me be more of who I am and everything just kind of comes out organically. And I think that better resonates with my audience. Now this next point, I wish I could take credit for it, but I did see it in a video very early on in my YouTube career, but it was changing my mindset. And what that meant was actually changing the way that I view a camera. I started to change my mindset and thinking of the camera as a person rather it being a camera. And I think once I made that shift in my mindset, everything started to come out more naturally. My personality started to shine and 
that's what people want to see when they're, you know, watching videos, whether you're doing a job interview or if you're creating content for social media or whatever, you want your authentic self to come through. And I think that was probably one of the biggest things that made a big difference in creating videos and building up that confidence over time. So when I first started making videos and I started editing them and I would play them back, I would notice that I would say um and ah uh, all the time. And I probably still do it, but then, so now when I do create a video or I'm talking to a camera, or even if I'm not talking to a camera, I'm just talking to someone, whether it be at the gym or at a coffee shop or with friends, I'm consciously trying not to say um or ah. Uh. If I don't know what I want to say next, then I just don't say anything at all. And it's something that is very difficult in the beginning, but the more times you are conscious of not saying um and ah, uh, it's gonna become one of those things that become very second nature and then ultimately you'll just end up not using it. When I was creating these videos, I was very consciously trying not to say ums and ahs and just getting rid of them entirely in my speech because when you start saying um and ah, it comes across like you are unsure about what you are trying to say. But for also the person viewing your video or listening to you, they are going to feel like you are unsure and not as confident either. So I've been consciously trying to eliminate that from my vocabulary because that's not something that I want to have a part of my speech. So just try not to say I'm in awe. I noticed in the beginning, I felt very like tense and very um, just, I wasn't bringing my true self in front of the camera. If you're gonna take anything away from this video from my experience, then I want it to be this. When you press record, I want you to bring your genuine, authentic self. It doesn't matter if you're making videos for YouTube or you're interviewing for a job, whoever it is that's watching your video or you're speaking to on the other side of that camera, they wanna know who you are and they wanna know what you're all about. And the only way to do that is by showing up as yourself. And I can guarantee you that once you start doing that, you are going to have so much more fun creating videos and the people that are watching your videos or you're interviewing with or speaking with on the other side of that camera, they're going to learn to love you and understand who you really are. And these are the things that really helped me build my confidence in creating videos and speaking to the camera. So, so that's what I got for you in today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this about speaking to a camera or social media, creating videos because this channel is making a shift and I'm just testing out a bunch of things right now. And I really enjoyed making this video. It was simple and hanging out in my garage it's still a mess, but that's okay. It's a garage. So I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.